Hello and welcome to Spiritual Sunrise. Today we will unite in prayer to ask God for health, financial abundance, and all the blessings He has prepared for our lives. Whether you are seeking physical well-being, prosperity in your finances, or simply more peace and happiness, this prayer is for you. Before we begin, I invite you to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can continue receiving powerful messages of faith. And don't forget to share the names of your loved ones in the comments below so we can include them in this special prayer. If you haven't done so yet, turn on notifications so you never miss a new prayer or daily reflection. Also, consider becoming a member of the channel. As a member, you'll have access to exclusive benefits such as personalized prayers and special content designed to strengthen your spiritual journey. It's crucial that you watch this video all the way through as every word of this prayer carries the power to bring the blessings you need. And remember to come back to this video for the next seven days, as this repetition will strengthen your connection with God and open doors for even greater miracles in your life. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Now, let's prepare to pray and receive all that the Lord has in store for us. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and hope, ready to embrace the promises found in your word. As we reflect on the powerful truths of Psalms 91 and 23, we are reminded of your unending love, protection, and guidance. These Psalms are like a shield, wrapping us in comfort and assurance that you are always with us, no matter the circumstances we face. Psalm 91 speaks of your divine protection, declaring, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty Lord. We seek that secret place today. We desire to dwell in your presence, surrounded by your love and peace. Just as a bird finds refuge under its mother's wings, we seek shelter under your mighty wings, knowing that no harm can come near us when we are close to you. We ask that you cover us with your feathers, shielding us from every fear, doubt, and negativity that may arise. Help us to trust in your protection and to rest in the assurance that you are our fortress and stronghold. As we turn to Psalm 23, we are reminded that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want you are our shepherd, guiding us through life's valleys and leading us to abundant pastures. Lord, we trust in your guidance and provision. We ask that you lead us to green pastures and still waters, refreshing our souls and restoring our spirits. In times of uncertainty, remind us that with you, we lack nothing. Help us to be aware of your presence in our lives, allowing us to experience your goodness and mercy every day. Father, we pray for abundance and prosperity in our lives. Just as Psalm 91 reassures us that you will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and protect us from deadly pestilence, we ask that you help us recognize the abundance you have in store for us. Open doors of opportunity in our work, relationships, and every area of our lives. May we prosper not only in material wealth, but also in love, joy, and peace. We want to be vessels of your blessings, sharing the abundance we receive with those around us. As we continue in prayer, we lift up our loved ones to you. We ask that you surround them with your protection, just as Psalm 9111 reminds us, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. We claim this promise for our families and friends, declaring that your angels are watching over them, guiding and protecting them through every trial they face. Fill their hearts with peace and comfort, knowing that you are always near. In moments of doubt, Lord, remind us of your faithfulness. Psalm 23 teaches us that even when we walk through the darkest valleys, we need not fear, for you are with us. We trust that you are walking beside us, holding our hand, and leading us out of darkness into light. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on you, knowing that you are our guiding light in times of trouble. As we close this prayer, we declare that your goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, just as Psalm 23, 6 promises. We believe that you are always with us, guiding, protecting, and blessing us. We thank you for the blessings that are already on their way, and we trust that everything we have prayed for today is already in motion. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Before we continue with this powerful prayer, I want to take a moment to remind you how important your support is. If this prayer has touched your heart or brought you peace, please hit that like button. It truly helps us reach more people with our messages of faith and hope. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, now is the perfect time. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of our daily prayers and uplifting content. 
And don't forget to share the names of your loved ones in the comments below so we can include them in our prayers as well. If you're looking for even more exclusive content and benefits, consider becoming a member of our channel. Your membership will not only support us but also provide you with personalized prayers and special content to enrich your spiritual journey. Thank you for your support and let's continue this prayer together. As we press on in this moment of prayer, Heavenly Father, we lift our voices and hearts in unison, grateful for the promise of your presence. We know that your word tells us in Psalm 91, 15, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him, Lord. We take comfort in knowing that you hear our cries and are always ready to respond to our needs. We invite you into every corner of our lives, asking you to move powerfully in situations that seem impossible. Father, we ask for your abundant grace to pour over us today. May it flow into our homes, our relationships, and our workplaces, creating an atmosphere of peace and harmony. Let your love radiate through us, enabling us to be instruments of your grace and compassion to those around us. We trust that as we align ourselves with your will, you will open doors of opportunity that lead to blessings beyond our understanding. We hold on to the promises of Psalm 23 where you remind us that you prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies, Lord. We acknowledge that life may bring challenges, but we stand firm in the knowledge that you are our protector and provider. As we sit at your table, we ask for nourishment in every area of our lives spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Help us to recognize and embrace the abundance that you have laid before us, knowing that you are always looking out for our best interests. Father, let us be mindful of your goodness and mercy that follows us all the days of our lives. May we dwell in your house, enjoying your presence and blessings. As we navigate through life, let us carry the assurance that we are never alone. You are our shepherd, guiding us with love and wisdom. In every moment of uncertainty, remind us to cast our worries upon you, trusting that you will lead us safely through each storm we face. In this sacred time of prayer, we also remember those who may be struggling or in need of healing. We lift them up to you, asking for your miraculous touch in their lives. Bring comfort to the brokenhearted, strength to the weary, and hope to the hopeless. As we come together in faith, we believe that your power is at work in every situation. As we conclude this part of our prayer, let us remain expectant for the good things you have in store for us. We are confident that you are working behind the scenes orchestrating blessings that will manifest in due time. We rejoice in your promises, knowing that they are yes and amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Heavenly Father, almighty creator of the heavens and the earth, we come before you today with hearts open and full of faith. We come to seek your divine presence and ask for your guidance, your protection, and your abundant blessings over every area of our lives. Lord, we trust in your unfailing love and we know that you are with us through every trial, every blessing, and every season of our lives. As we begin this prayer, we are reminded of the words of Psalm 91, which tells us, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty Lord. We come before you now, seeking to dwell in that secret place, under your protective wings. We ask that you be our refuge, our fortress, and our shield against all harm. Just as your word declares, we trust that no evil shall befall us, and no plague shall come near our homes, for you have commanded your angels to watch over us and protect us in all our ways. Father, we claim this promise over our health, over our homes, and over our families. We also look to the words of Psalm 23, where you are described as our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, Father. We know that you are our guide, the one who leads us beside still waters and restores our souls. In moments of uncertainty, in times when we feel lost or overwhelmed, we trust that you are leading us, providing for us, and giving us peace. Your word says that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are with us. Lord, we claim this promise today that no matter what challenges we face, whether it be illness, financial struggle, or emotional pain, we will walk without fear, because you, our shepherd, are by our side. Your rod and your staff comfort us, guiding us through every difficulty and every storm. Father, today we lift up our health to you. We ask for your healing hand to be upon us. Just as you have promised in your word, we know that you are our healer, our great physician. We ask that you restore our bodies to full health and vitality. 
For those of us battling illness, disease, or any form of physical ailment, we ask that you touch every cell in our body with your healing power. We declare that sickness has no place in our lives, for your word says that by your stripes we are healed. Lord, let your healing power flow through us now, bringing restoration and strength. We also come before you today, Lord, asking for financial abundance and provision. Your word tells us in Psalm 23 that you prepare a table before us, even in the presence of our enemies, and that our cups overflow. Father, we ask that you pour out your blessings upon us, that we may experience financial abundance. We ask for wisdom in managing the resources you provide and the opportunities to use those resources to bless others. We trust that as we seek first your kingdom, all these things will be added unto us. Help us to walk in faith, knowing that you will meet every need, that you will provide more than enough, and that our cups will overflow with blessings. Lord, as we seek abundance, we also ask for peace. Your word says in Philippians 4:7 that your peace surpasses all understanding, guarding our hearts and minds. We declare this peace over our lives, over our homes, and over our families. In moments of anxiety, worry, or fear, we ask that your peace would wash over us, calming our hearts and minds. Let every storm of confusion or doubt be stilled by the power of your presence. Let us rest in the assurance that you are in control, that you are working all things together for our good, and that your plans for us are filled with hope and a future. Father, we ask that you guide us in every decision we make, in every step we take. Just as you guide us as our shepherd, we ask that you illuminate our path showing us the way forward in every area of our lives. Whether it's in our health, our finances, our relationships, or our spiritual growth, we trust that you are leading us to green pastures and still waters. Help us to recognize your voice, to discern the doors you are opening for us, and to walk boldly in the path you have laid out for us. Lord, we surrender our lives to you today. We lay down our plans, our desires, and our will, and we ask that your will be done in our lives, just as it is in heaven. We trust that you are already working behind the scenes, aligning our lives with the people, the opportunities, and the blessings that you have prepared for us. Help us to wait patiently on your timing, knowing that your ways are perfect and your timing is flawless. Renew our strength as we wait on you, just as it is written in Isaiah 40, 31, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We also ask for your protection, Lord. Just as Psalm 91 promises that no harm shall come near us, we declare that over our lives today. Protect us from every attack of the enemy, from every danger seen and unseen. We ask that you cover our homes, our families, and our loved ones with your divine protection. Let your angels encamp around us, guarding us in all our ways. Father, we ask for protection over our health, our finances, our emotional well-being, and our relationships. As we close this prayer, we thank you, Father, for your faithfulness, for your love, and for your endless grace. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise for the blessings that are already on their way. We walk forward in faith, knowing that you are with us every step of the way, and that your goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Before we continue, I'd like to take a brief moment to remind you of the importance of supporting this video. If this prayer is touching your heart or bringing you peace, don't forget to leave a like. It helps us reach more people with messages of faith and hope. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so now and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily prayers. I also invite you to share the names of your loved ones in the comments so we can include them in our prayers and together create a strong circle of faith. Now let's continue with our prayer and reflection. As we continue this moment of prayer and reflection, I invite you to pause and think about all the areas of your life where you desire God's touch. Whether it's in your health, finances, relationships, or spiritual growth, know that our Heavenly Father is deeply invested in every part of your journey. He cares about your every need, your every dream, and the desires of your heart. And even when things seem uncertain or challenging, He is working behind the scenes, orchestrating His perfect plan for your life. It's important to remember that God doesn't just want us to survive, He wants us to thrive. He desires for us to live lives full of joy, peace, purpose, and fulfillment. In John 10.10, 10, Jesus said, 
I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. This abundance is not just about material wealth, it's about a richness in every area of life, love, faith, health, and inner peace. When we walk closely with God, aligning our lives with His Word and His will, we can experience this fullness knowing that He is our provider, our healer, and our sustainer. For those of you who are experiencing difficulties right now, whether it's a health issue, financial hardship, or emotional struggle, I want to remind you that God is the God of miracles. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Just as He performed miraculous healings and breakthroughs in the Bible, He is still moving powerfully today. All He asks is that we come to Him in faith, trusting that He will meet our needs according to His perfect will and timing. In Philippians 4.19, we are reminded of His promise and my God will supply every need of yours according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. This means that no matter what you are going through, God has the resources, the wisdom, and the power to provide for you in ways you cannot even imagine. His blessings are not limited to what we can see or understand. Often He is working in ways that are beyond our comprehension. And when we least expect it, He opens doors we never thought possible. This is why faith is so crucial. Faith is the key that unlocks the fullness of God's blessings. Hebrews 11.1 1 tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Even when we don't see a solution, even when the path ahead seems unclear, faith allows us to trust that God is moving on our behalf. So today, I encourage you to walk by faith, not by sight. Keep believing, keep trusting, and keep praying, because God is faithful to His promises. Another important aspect of this journey is gratitude. Even in the midst of challenges, there is always something to be thankful for. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have. It opens our eyes to the blessings that God has already placed in our lives. As we give thanks, we invite more of God's goodness to flow into our circumstances. So I encourage you to take a moment each day to reflect on the things you are grateful for, even the small things. Whether it's the gift of health, the love of family, or the beauty of creation, each blessing is a reminder of God's love and provision. For those of you seeking direction in life, perhaps you're at a crossroads or facing a big decision, I encourage you to lean on God's wisdom. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 tells us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight when we rely on our own understanding. We often get overwhelmed by the complexity of life's choices. But when we surrender our plans to God and ask for His guidance, He promises to direct our steps. He knows the best path for our lives, and He will lead us to the right opportunities, relationships, and decisions if we trust Him. Let's also talk about the importance of forgiveness. Sometimes, the greatest barrier to receiving God's blessings is the bitterness or unforgiveness we hold in our hearts. Jesus teaches us to forgive others just as we have been forgiven. Holding on to grudges or past hurts can weigh us down spiritually and emotionally, preventing us from fully experiencing God's peace and joy. So if there's someone in your life that you need to forgive, whether it's a family member, a friend, or even yourself, ask God for the strength to release that burden today. As you let go of bitterness, you will make room for God's healing and peace to fill your heart. Lastly, let's talk about love. At the core of everything God does is love. He loves us unconditionally, beyond measure, and His love is what empowers us to love others. As we receive His love, we are called to be vessels of that love in the world. This means showing kindness, compassion, and understanding to those around us, even when it's difficult. It means loving others, not because they deserve it, but because God first loved us. In doing so, we become a reflection of God's love to a world that so desperately needs it. In 1 Corinthians 13, Often referred to as the love chapter, the Apostle Paul describes the characteristics of love. He says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. These qualities of love are not just ideals to strive for, they are the very essence of who God is. When we love like this, we are living out the calling that God has placed on our lives. As we continue to reflect on God's love, protection, and provision, I encourage you to invite Him into every aspect of your life. Ask Him to be your guide, your protector, your provider, and your source of strength. No matter where you are on your journey, God is with you, 
and he is ready to pour out his blessings upon you. So keep seeking him, keep trusting him, and keep believing that the best is yet to come. May his peace, love, and abundance continue to surround you, and may you walk confidently in the knowledge that you are deeply loved and cared for by your Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, Creator of the heavens and the earth, we come before you today with hearts open, seeking your divine presence and guidance. We lift our voices and our spirits to you, asking for your hand to touch every area of our sentimental lives. We know, Lord, that true prosperity comes not from the things of this world, but from your grace, your love, and your promises. As we come into your presence, we are reminded of the words of Psalm 91, which declares that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Father, we ask that you help us to dwell in that secret place under your shadow, where we are safe, protected, and deeply connected to you. In a world filled with emotional struggles, broken hearts, and confusion, we seek refuge in you. We ask that you guard our hearts and minds, shielding us from any pain or harm that might try to come near us. Your word assures us that a thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you, Lord. Let this promise be true for our hearts. May we walk with the confidence that no heartache, no betrayal, no disappointment will overcome us because you are our refuge and our fortress. We declare your protection over our emotional lives, trusting that you send your angels to guard us in all our ways. Guide us, Lord, in every relationship we enter, that we may walk in love, understanding, and faithfulness. Just as Psalm 23 reminds us, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want you, Father, are the shepherd of our hearts, the guide of our souls, and the protector of our deepest desires. We come to you in humility, asking that you lead us beside still waters, that you bring peace into our hearts and lives. In moments of confusion or doubt, may we find rest in your presence. In our sentimental lives, whether we are seeking love, restoring a relationship, or waiting for your perfect timing, we trust that you will lead us to green pastures. You will provide us with everything we need. Your word says that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, Lord. We know that the valleys of life can be dark, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. But we hold on to the promise that you walk with us through every trial, every heartache, and every uncertainty. You are there, comforting and guiding us with your rod and your staff. We place our trust in you, knowing that you will not abandon us, but will bring us through the valley into the light of your peace and joy. As Psalm 23 also declares, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows, we ask that you prepare a table of abundance for us in our relationships. Even when we face challenges, misunderstandings, or struggles, we believe that you are blessing us beyond measure. May our cups overflow with your love, joy, and peace, not just for ourselves, but so that we may share these blessings with those around us. Let us be vessels of your love in every relationship we have, showing grace, patience, and kindness as you have shown us. Father, we cry out for your peace in our sentimental lives, the peace that surpasses all understanding, as it is written in Philippians 4.7. We know that this peace is not dependent on our circumstances, but is a divine gift from you. We declare peace over our hearts, peace in our relationships, peace in our homes. Let every storm of confusion, anxiety, or emotional pain be stilled by your voice. Help us to trust in you fully, knowing that you are the God who restores, heals, and brings new beginnings. Lord, we ask for your prosperity, not just in material things, but in the depths of our souls. Teach us to prosper according to your will. Let us grow in love, patience, wisdom, and understanding. May we become rich in compassion, rich in kindness, and rich in faith. Bless our relationships with harmony and mutual respect. Whether we are seeking a new relationship or nurturing one we already have, guide us in your wisdom so that we may honor you in all that we do. Help us to recognize that true love is built on a foundation of you and that when you are at the center, our relationships will flourish. Just as you have declared that goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, we declare that over our sentimental lives as well. May your goodness fill every corner of our hearts. May your mercy cover us when we fall short, and may your grace sustain us through every trial. We surrender our lives, our hearts, and our desires to you today, trusting in your perfect plan for us. 
We lay down our own will and ask that your will be done in our lives, just as it is in heaven. We believe that you are already working behind the scenes, aligning our paths with the people and opportunities you have set aside for us. We trust that you are opening doors where we see none, bringing solutions where we see only problems. Lord, we give you thanks and praise for the love and protection you provide. We trust that as we abide in you, you will direct our steps, heal our wounds, and bless us abundantly. May your peace, prosperity, and love fill our lives, and may we always walk in the confidence that you are with us, guiding us every step of the way. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen and amen. Before we continue with this powerful prayer, I want to remind you of the importance of liking this video and subscribing to our channel, Spiritual Sunrise. This helps us spread messages of faith and hope to more people. Your interaction is essential in strengthening this prayer community. And if you haven't done so yet, turn on notifications to receive our daily prayers. Also, don't forget to share the names of your loved ones in the comments so we can include them in our prayers. And now, Lord, as we continue in prayer, we ask that you deepen the work you are doing in our hearts. Strengthen our trust in you so that we may walk boldly in faith, knowing that your plans for us are far greater than anything we could imagine. We acknowledge that you are the author of love itself and that true love, peace, and prosperity in our sentimental lives come only from aligning ourselves with your will. Father, teach us to wait patiently on your timing. In a world that rushes us and places pressure on our hearts, remind us that your ways are perfect and your timing is flawless. Help us not to grow anxious or weary in the waiting, but rather to embrace the seasons you have ordained for us. As it says in Isaiah 40, 31, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint renew our strength, Lord, as we wait on the blessings you are preparing for our lives. In the times when we feel lost or unsure of the path before us, remind us that you are the God who guides us with clarity and wisdom. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, as declared in Psalm 119, 105. Illuminate the way, Father, and help us to discern the relationships and opportunities that are aligned with your purpose for us. We know that not every open door is from you, and so we ask for the gift of discernment. Lead us only into relationships that honor you and bring us closer to the destiny you have laid out for us. Lord, for those of us who are seeking healing from past hurts, we ask that you come in with your healing hand. Where there are wounds from broken relationships, betrayals, or heart touches, we ask that you bind up those wounds with your love. Psalm 147.3 tells us that you heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. We declare healing over every heart that has been shattered, and we ask for restoration where there has been loss. Bring peace where there was once turmoil, and fill the empty places with your love and comfort. Father, we also ask for the grace to forgive those who have hurt us. We know that unforgiveness is a barrier to receiving the fullness of your blessings, and so we release any bitterness or resentment we may be holding on to. Just as you have forgiven us, we choose to forgive those who have wronged us, trusting that in doing so, we will find freedom and peace. Help us to walk in the spirit of forgiveness, extending grace even when it is difficult, knowing that in doing so, we reflect your heart. Lord, for those of us who are waiting for love, we ask that you prepare our hearts in this season. Shape us into the people you have called us to be, so that when the time comes for us to enter into new relationships, we are ready to love as you love selflessly, faithfully, and purely. We pray for the one you have chosen for us, that you would be working in their heart as well, preparing them to love us with the same commitment and devotion. Bring us together in your perfect time, and may our union be a testament to your goodness and faithfulness. For those already in relationships or marriages, we ask for your blessing of continued growth and unity. Strengthen the bonds of love, trust, and understanding between partners. May your presence be the foundation upon which their relationship stands, and may they continue to grow together in faith and love. When challenges arise, may they seek you first, knowing that with you, all things are possible. Help them to navigate difficulties with grace, patience, and forgiveness, and may their relationship be a reflection of your covenant love. Father, we are confident that you are the God of more than enough. You are not only able to meet our needs, but to exceed them in ways we cannot imagine. Just as it says in Ephesians 3.20, you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. 
We declare this truth over our sentimental lives that you will bring abundance, not only in material things, but in love, joy, peace, and fulfillment. We trust that as we seek you first, all other things will be added unto us. As we close this time of prayer, we rest in the assurance that you are working all things together for our good. We may not see the full picture now, but we trust in your sovereignty and your love for us. Help us to walk in faith, believing that every step we take is guided by your hand and that you are leading us into a future filled with hope, peace, and prosperity. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers and for the work you are doing in our lives. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise, for you alone are worthy. We leave this time of prayer with hearts full of gratitude and expectation, knowing that your blessings are already on the way. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Now, to conclude the video, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.